and welcome or welcome back to Jen's Hangouts. If you're new here, I'm Jen. We're hanging out. We're going to do some palette roulette Friday. If you don't, oh, well, or if you're new here, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button and then leave a comment down below, but please be nice. And also, if you don't know what palette roulette is, palette roulette is where you put all of your eyeshadow palettes, uh, whatever. I have my foundations in here. I have my bronzers in here. I have a full face of makeup in here. Sorry, I'm getting the hiccups and it's like, you know how it does. Anyway, so... Then you spin the wheel, right? And you have your item that you use. Today, we're going to be doing just eyeshadow palettes. Um, also, if you're returning, I love you guys so, so much. You know that. So let's get into it and spin the wheel. Also, this is a really big open collab. So... Just do hashtag mask mon or not mask Monday. Wow, what day is today? Anyway, um, oh, and we're doing jawbreaker. Cool, I haven't done jawbreaker in a really long time, so that is good. Um, but we uh, all you have to do is put in pal hashtag palette roulette, and you'll be into this giant collab, and it's fabulous. Lots and lots and lots of us do it, and we absolutely have a blast. Let me grab that palette, and I will be right back. Oh, it's an easy one to find. Luckily, I keep all of my Jeffree Star stuff in one place. So, but this is what she looks like in the carton. This is what she looks like out of the carton. And this is what the palette itself looks like. Stunning, right? Absolutely stunning. So, I'm going to put a base on my eyes. I already have the rest of my face done. Um, if you couldn't tell, dark eyebrows with nothing on underneath, you know, for anything. <laughs> it's kind of stark. Anyways, that's beside the point. So, what we're going to do is I am going to put a base on my eyes and figure out what colors I'm going to do. And I will be right back. It'll be just like that for you. Okay, I think we're going to do a sunset look. And I'm going to be using a bunch of different shades. The oranges, the yellows, some of the darker red, like uh, licorice. And, um, and maybe even and white. And then I really want to try this lemon drop for the the shimmer of the sunset if that makes sense that's kind of where we're gonna head so i'm gonna go in with, with this msq blender brush and the first color i'm gonna go into is gonna be suck some of these names are pretty vulgar and i'm sorry ahead of time right but it's this brighter orange color here and that is gonna go Actually, no. We're going to go into WOW, which is the yellow right next to it. Okay. Oh, and I just primed my eyes with some AOA Pot Concealer. It's a really good concealer. I love it. Love it. But we're just going to go in here on the top just to kind of lay that first lighter shade. Because you know how... Sunsets are always like really faded. Well, not, not faded, but they grade. Excuse me. I'm so sorry. They're gradient in their colors, right? So I want to lay that first base of color down, which is that yellow. And that'll be a good um, softening color. Or when I blend if I need it. So 
I like doing sunset looks, especially in the summertime. They are so pretty, I think. Just so pretty. Let's see. A little bit more. Sometimes I can see out of this mirror, and then other times I am blind. I don't know. I know a lot of it has to do with my sugars. But, which have been fine, really. I mean, well, I can't say that, but. They haven't been bad. So there's that. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with just a slightly smaller. Um, and this is, oh, I don't remember, Moto Brush from Amazon. Now I'm going to go in with Suck, which is that orange color. And it's orange. She owns it. And I'm just going to very lightly do that. Just at the crease, slightly above, but just, you know, you can still see that yellow on top. But you can kind of see that sunset forming, right? So, there we go. And what you do on one side, you gotta do on the other. So I'm just trying to blend this out. My left eye, I swear, it just does not like to behave. It says, nope, we gotta be different than everybody else. I don't know why it does that. It just does. But, I think you guys are getting the gist of things here. Yeah. I like it. That looks good. Looks good. Okay, so now, I need to find a different brush. I need to clean my brushes. What I need to do. That's a perpetual problem when you do makeup looks. You gotta clean your brushes. Oh, yeah. It's alright. I mean, really. I'm not really complaining. I'm just... It's a thing. You know, if you know, you know. Um, okay, we're going to go in with this Moda, and I think it's a detail brush, yeah. It's that round. Now we're going to go in with Licorice, and we're going to do that um, without the added hair that's apparently coming out. So I need my tweezers. Not those ones. <laughs> and it doesn't want to come out. It just wants to be extra long. There we go. I got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. So this is going to be outer V, right? And then slightly, you know, whatever's left on my brush. We'll bring it in. But this is going to give that, like, start to a depth of color back here. And that gradient into the dark, darker color. So this is going to stick just in my crease and then the outer V. I still want to be able to see the other colors, if that makes sense. I hope it does. So, you just want to... And I blend in kind of circles. Sometimes I do the washer motion. Mainly I do circles. Cause then I don't get, like, directional marks, if that makes sense. Okay. So, remember, what we do on one side, you got to do on the other, so... There we go. I still don't know why this eye doesn't like to behave. <laughs> oh, do any of you guys have one of those eyes, you know, that's just like, mm, no. I don't want to do it. Nope, nope. Oh. 
Okay. Okay, that is good with that one. Now I'm gonna go in with this um, bling brush in E15 and We're gonna go in with a little bit of this raspberry color. It's that really dark red, like a brick red, this one right here. And that one is going to be strictly on the outer V just to enhance that red we put down and deepen it up, right? I guess I'll blend it in a little. Not a lot, just a little bit. Yep, there we go. See, that's like all we want. Not a lot, just a tiny smidge. Just enough to give it a little bit more complexity to the color. Which it is doing. Yes, it will. Whatever's left, bring it in. Yeah, I like that. That's pretty. But I am going to go back over. This is the yellow brush. Nothing on it. Just softening edges. You know. Toning down stuff that went a little too high. This is kind of how I fix my oopsies. Because makeup is art. And there's always mistakes in art. But mistakes aren't mistakes in art. They're just happy accidents that lead to something better. Okay, now I'm going to... Yes, this is a She Glam um, short, shade, short, short Shader. And I'm going to go in with And What? This um, shimmery red and I'm going to spray my brush okay and I'm going to put that on that outer edge where we just put that raspberry color and I have a pretty hefty amount on my brush you guys can see and it's wet but I'm just gonna kind of pat that in just on this outside here and just underneath like a third of the way that's it but this really kind of makes it shine shine like an eagle So, I mean, it's not like super shimmery. I would say this is kind of more of a, a satin shade than a shimmer shade per, per se. But it's still pretty. And it still gives that sheen, you know. So, that's what we're going for. Okay. So that's what we did there. Now I'm going to take a, this is just a flat packer brush. I'm going to get it wet as well. Now I'm going to go in with that lemon drop color, which is that satin shimmery yellow, this one right here. And we're going to do that. Actually, I think I'm going to take, um... this very old Estee Lauder and I'm going to go into Wow which is that matte yellow shade right and I'm going to put that down first on that inner inner half right just to kind of lay a base so to speak hmm I just had a light bulb Light bulb. Uh, I have this. So um, let me wipe that 
yellow off and I'll be right back. Okay, so I have my base on, right? Now I'm going to go into what was on the brush but there was something on it anyway I'm going to use this this Estee Lauder brush right and I am going to go back into the and what no actually I'm going to go into orange juice which is this orange shimmer color next to the and what it's this one right here and I'm going to do that on the middle right I put down a coral colored primer to kind of ump this up right there so let's see what it does yeah that's pretty I like that it looks good I love it so much all right so I set that there now I'm gonna go in with my detail brush, nothing's on it. I just want to blend out that harsh line, right? Blend that out. Nobody likes the harsh lines. No, thank you. Okay, that looks a lot better there. I'm gonna go in with that yellow blender brush no extra color actually i think i am going to add some of that back in and this is just with the wow color just to soften that yeah i like that much better looks much better but it just softens that edge right which is what you need okay now i'm gonna go in with this brush with lemon drop. Did I wet my brush? I can't remember. I think I did. It's probably dried out by now. So I'm gonna go in with a lemon drop. Pretty ham on the brush and just press that in. Oh, my nose, my allergies are just going crazy. Just gonna pack that on a little thusly. Yeah, that's nice. That is nice. And kind of blend that edge so it's not quite so harsh. Yes, I love that. Isn't that beautiful? I think that's great. Some people might not like it, but I do, and that's what matters. I think it's gorgeous. Sometimes you just need a good sunset look, right? That in the inner corner there. Blend it back. So we don't have any funky harsh lines. Yes, I love that. Love it so much. Okay, now I'm going to take this one that had that orange juice on it and I'm just gonna run that mm. and my eye wants to water under my eye okay I like it. I like it so much. Oh, I really need to wash brushes. Oh, so bad. So, so bad. Okay, I'm going to take this. Um, sorry, no, this is the blue collection. Wow. I can talk. It's E57. It's a liner brush, right? And I'm going to get it wet. 
and I'm going to go in with a base liner. Oh, in the brown color, which is tasty. But I got it wet because I want it to be more like a liner. I have brown liners, but this is a trick. If you don't um, have a liner that you like to use or that you don't think... Or you put, you know, your liner comes out on you. This is a hack to lining your eyes. And not being out of liner. Which is good. You can you generally get a little bit thinner of a line. So I don't want that harsh liner look. That's why I'm going in with brown. And it'll still, the because the purpose of liner on your upper lashes is to frame your lashes and make them look thicker most of the time for your mascara. So, um, it doesn't necessarily have to be dark or part of your look so if you can make it blend with your look all the better that and this is a little bit more forgiving of a way to do your liner so there we go there's that I'm going to use I think for my brow bone highlight, I think I'm just going to go in with the matte white, which is called Virgin. Um, I just have to find a good brush for that. I know I have them in here. Where, where have you gone tonight? So maybe I don't know. I I just, yeah, whatever, we'll use this one. Um, it is a star gem brush. But yeah, we'll just lightly go in with that white and get under that brow bone and blend it so it's not so harsh. It doesn't look like chalk. <laughs> Because it can. Whites can very easily look like chalk. Like, very easily look like chalk. So, you just want that little bit of oomph. And actually, I think, because there's not one in here, I'm going to grab another trick with high uh, brow bone highlights, especially, is use the highlighter you used on your face. And I used the ColourPop Winnie the Pooh, this is discontinued sadly, Silly Old Bear, but it has that golden sheen to it, right? Which is kind of what I want, but it's still light. So I'm going to go in with this and go over that white just to give it a little bit of a golden hint, if that makes sense, which I hope it does. Not too shabby. I think that looks nice. It's, it's there, but it's not like, oh my gosh, that's so bright. Okay, now I'm going to do my lower liner and my mascara and whatnot, and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm all done. Here is the final look. Let me know what you guys think. I think I chose the wrong lip. It's a little too purple for the look. So I'll have to change that. 
because I put on my Milani lip liner, which I love, and then this Supreme Gloss in More Than Friends, and I just, I'm not feeling it. I don't think that it is the right combo. Hmm. So, I have, ooh, I have this one. This might work. This is Day Trip. Mm, no, I don't think that one's a good one. I have a thousand lippies, so I know I have the right one in here somewhere. Oh, wait. Mm, what was this one? Not this one. Okay, so this is a Tony Moly lift stain. Um, it's their shocking. Lip, the shocking lip blur in Thunderbolt. I always give these a good shake. Um, and lip stains are always like, oh my gosh, that's so great. When you first put them on. So there's that. And I like these because they dry fairly quickly, so you're not having to, because that's the thing about lip stains, is you have to let them set. And these ones dry like that, which makes them fabulous. Yeah, I think that looks much better. And it will fade down. It's beautiful. And I always blot them anyway, but... Now we're good and dry. So see nothing, not much came off. But they'll fade down beautifully throughout the day and throughout your wear. But not like a weird lipstick that, you know, always ends up leaving that funky rim. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? Anywho, this is the final look. Let me know what you guys think down below. Blessings to all. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend and enjoy this gorgeous weather that we're having right before winter comes and we are all complaining about where did summer go? Anyways, blessings to all. I will see you guys later. Bye.